before I get to the meat and the crux of this video I want you to check the links below that's in the description box that's going to serve um, as references to what I'm about to go into and before I go into this video I'm going to set a couple of parameters concerning this topic back in February 28 of 2018 I produce a video called no jail time for false accuser black men get political before they do I want y'all to watch that video because I don't want no one and I mean no one to come up in my in this comment board the chat room or even when y'all share saying oh Big J you are a C O O N I don't want to hear arguments and slander about my character and cascade me as a anti-black woo 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 and when you do that trust and believe I will kick you off the comment section the chat room and yes I will report your channel I'm not playing but anyway, back to the topic itself. For the past couple of days, I saw Don Gordito's video. I saw Miss Elite's video. I saw certain videos from, from uh, uh, I've got the brother's name. I think his name, Intelligent Hood Genius. <laughs> and I, I see these people making videos about this book called Stay away from sneaky snow bunnies. And let me say this right now. I will share this in the community tab. And I'm going to <laughs> share this to a certain select few black men on YouTube who might have something to say about this. You see, for me, um, books like this, a children's book. Now, I read the book. I went on Amazon. And I read the book myself. And let me say, I'm not, say that you pro quacks. You red ball, green ball, black ball, Negroes. You're making a world. This book is nothing more than, than psychological indoctrination and race baiting. At best. Anybody can look at the names of the characters. Anybody can look at the name of what is a snow bunny, what the snow bunny was doing in the book, and then there were certain in the windows about carrots, and then there was in the windows about how many snow bunnies was there trying to get a carrot out of a ground. I want y'all to notice certain things about that in the window so I dare anybody to refute what I'm about to say here so I want, I want you to know about certain some of these in the windows here but first but first let me because I'm going a little bit ahead of myself about the in the windows 
But let's read what the author says. J. Starr, the author of the book of he says, I'm proud to announce the release of my first children's book. I was I was a kid who struggled to listen to my parents at times, so I want did to write about the importance of that. Two boys named Umar and Malcolm go in, go outside for some fun and excitement. And before they leave, they want to stay away from the sneaky snow bunnies by their parents. What happens next? You'll find out you you will have to read to find out my goal is to sell at least 20,000 copies and help me make this possible get this book for your children and you see where I circle at especially our black boys that's his quote right there right now I want you to notice the in the window what he said that's from the author of the book but but let's read on another thing that was said in the book and here is the synopsis of the book here's the synopsis the synopsis read Malcolm is the liveliest and the most adventurous boy in town when a snowy day beckons him outside. Malcolm's curiosity leads him to a world of mistress, mischief with his best friend Umar. But when his parents warn him to stay clear of the sneaky snow bunnies, Malcolm must decide whether to heed their advice or succumb to temptation. I want y'all to understand what the synopsis in the back of the book says. Succumb to temptation. Then it says sneaky snow bunnies. Anybody know what the y'all been on the been on YouTube and Facebook and social media all this time you know what the term snow bunny means and I want you to look at the names of the two pro the two characters what does it say it's Malcolm and Umar Malcolm X if you know about the history of Malcolm X, his biography, he had relations with white women. During the 19th, when he was Detroit Red, and he was, during the time before he went to prison, he had relationships with a white woman or two. Then you got the second character that's called Umar. Umar was the one warning Malcolm in the book to stay away from no snow bunnies. Now the Umar in his book sounds mighty similar to a so-called psychologist by the name of Umar Johnson the so-called Prince of Pan-Africanism as Malcolm if you read the book somehow in the book it made no sense whatsoever Malcolm removed his clothes his coat, 
his gloves, his scarf, his cap. And he went back inside the house. Shivering in the cold. Back in the house where his parents warned him. See, you shouldn't be playing with the snow bunnies. Because then he... And, and I'm going to say this, I, I know I'm living, I'm rushing into the story, and forgive me. But the, but the book never tells you why he took his clothes off. Why did he remove his jacket, his scarf, and the warm clothes, except, you know, that was on his body because he was out in the snow chasing a white rabbit. Trying to get a carrot. So the story is. He tried to go to the carrot. Trying to attain the carrot. Then he removed his gloves. He removed his jacket. His scarf. And the cap on his head. Just to get a carrot. From the ground. And then these rabbits. These bunny rabbits stole. His jacket. His cap. His scarf. Articles of clothing that, that he needs to keep himself warm in the snow. Do y'all see the sexual and this is a children's book? Y'all don't see the in the windows in this story? It's not just racist and no. Don't you come in here and tell me black people can't be racist. Maybe y'all need to go to a dictionary. Go to West, the Westford Dictionary. Go to Oxford Dictionary and read what it says racism is. Don't you come in here and tell me black people can't be racist. And, 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 and then though let's talk about another another thing that I saw was so comical right because it's right there in front of you right it's right there in front of you so I went on Amazon oh yes Big J went on Amazon and guess what I read hot dilly dog now, I blurred out the person's name who wrote this. But this person said this. And you know it's a it's a, a woman. I know it's a woman who wrote this. I love this book. USPS bent the book to put it in my mailbox. But I won't let that stop me from giving this book a good review. Hot glory. Although it recommended for smaller children. And I want y'all to notice something what she's about to say right here. I will make sure my 17 year old son reads it. Now I have to underline my 17 year old son has to read this. Here's 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 why here here's also another sentence it says here. It's a must read for the entire family, especially young men. I have to underline that too. This is a message as old as time. Old as what? Jim Crow? Reconstruction era? The rolling, uh, the, the, the what happened to Black Wall Street? What happened to Rosewood? And I'm thankful someone has written about it. Written about what? What is the it? Written by what? What is the IT? What is the it of this? Let me tell you something. 
wokeism it's the reason why and no don't you come in here trying to try to try to tell me you know oh big j and let me say this too and let me let me say this because let me reintroduce the parameters of this video if you come in here talking about calling somebody a becky or calling somebody oh big j you hate black women and uh, big J, you, 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 you are, you are a C O O N. Let me say this again. I will delete your comment. I will report your comment because I said we're gonna have an honest discussion about this. We're not gonna do no ordinary uh, name calling over here. Because a lot of you pro-black, back to Africa, red ball, green ball, black ball, individuals online. You are just like the alt-right. Except it's in blackface. And what's so disgusting about this, and, and, you, know, you, know, you know, I shouldn't be giving this this book any attention I shouldn't oh and by the way I am talking to a black woman by the way so I don't want nobody to sit there and say oh big J you're doing you, you're trying to cake for a white woman you're trying to cake for Becky when I'm talking to a black woman on a, on a, on a romantic level so I don't want to hear that either try that you get the boot and you get reported I'm going to stand by what I believe in. All right. But back to this point. You are the art right in blackface. The problem is. This is this book. And the people who write things like this shows. The one thing I've been saying for at least two and a half years. People who espouse this racial pride on a day-to-day -day basis. Let me say it again. People who does the whole pro-black, back to Africa or racial identity politics, no matter what, what, what race it is. Y'all do it under the position of weakness. To sit there and say black men, y'all reinforce because you pro-blacks are so concerned about interracial relationships that y'all reinforce a negative stereotype about your own black sons, y'all's black brothers, your black male cousins, and even those who are your uncles and fathers. Let me go right back to the book itself because because I, I, I forgot to add one thing about that book, right? They brought in this, the person, grandfather in the book. I think it was Malcolm's grandfather. <laughs> and I, I forgot to clue this in. Right? I forgot to clue this in about the grandfather. See, the grandfather said, yeah, man, that's why, man, I don't go out and, and go out to snow bunnies. Why was it near their need? I, I know, I know, I'm going off, going off the tangent here. And forgive me if I'm going off the tangent, but I gotta ask this question: Why would, why did the grandfather need to be in the book when he just reiterated what the parents said? So why say the point? Oh, see, to play the whole what happened in Jim Crow, what happened in the 1950s. You're not Jay. Whoever this guy is, what's his name? J Star. 
we know what this is about. But anyway, back to the to the point I was trying to say. And I hope I remember it. This indoctrination of children is disgusting. It's one thing to talk among adults about the history of race in Western society and interracial uh, couplings and interracial relations in people hanging around in, in, in you know black people or minority people hang around in majority white areas and so forth. But there's a better message than what this book is subscribing. You know what the, you know what the better message should be? If Mr. J. Starr and Joe Ho- and, and, and this other guy who's back in the book named uh, Josiah Starr If these two brothers were so worried about black men, young black men, and going out, you know, playing these quote unquote snow, they so worried about black men need to get with black girls. Well, how about introducing black boys to well kept, well managed, well raised black girls? And introduced them into their circle. Or at least their parents. Into that circle. That's how you bring solutions. That's how you bring a better a better quality. If y'all was in that racial identity politics scheme. But all that y'all do with this book is. Y'all. Y'all, y'all made black men. And black boys, especially, into sex crazed hounds that the white Ku Klux Klan, and see the white Ku Klux Klan, the white supremacists always said black men will always chase after white women. Now, you pro blacks who support this book and the ones who write this book is reinforcing white supremacy, and that's why I said white supremacy does not have a white face. White supremacy is are the pro blacks who support garbage like this. I'm trying to figure out there's something else I want to say. You know, I might do a live stream about this uh, later tonight since it's Saturday. I might do it Saturday or, or Sunday, Sunday morning. Something else I want to say. You see, I'll close with this. Y'all don't want to better society. See, I believe that whether we are parents or not, whether we are parents or not, I think is the, the duty for any productive, sane, law-abiding citizen to leave behind a world for the next generation leave behind a world where our children or next generation or two does not have to endure the racism doesn't have to endure the classism doesn't have to endure the sexism does not have to adore any isms that's a detriment to that person's life, liberty, and their pursuit of happiness. That's what needs to happen. And I dare anybody, any of you so called pro blacks, or any of you white supremacists who who might be watching this this video i want y'all to go ahead and try and refute my argument i dare 
any of you to dissect and deconstruct this video but like I said I might do a video a live stream about this later tonight or this weekend like share subscribe and uh, check on my community tab because I'm give I'm gonna send this video to a couple of people I want their opinions on that big J out